Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Art Eftakari. Great to have you with us. Before we begin, make sure you get to our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Remember, we got the best links to all the top European, Asian, and United States friendly bookmaker sites. Remember, on our website, you also have access to the Bookmaker 101 Basics, steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw, We even have the bookmaker guide available for download. And for the A to Z sports betting lingo word of the day, the word here is fat. And what is that? A person with plenty of money. All right, so learn something new every day. All right, let's get right to it. There is a big fight coming up this Saturday night that you will not want to miss. One. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Yo, the sun don't shine forever, Turn but as long as it's here, then we might as well shine together. Oh, okay, everybody, I'm on bet365.com. That's www.bet365.com. The big fight will be taking place on Saturday, the 16th of September, between Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez. The payout here shows 8 to 13 for Gennady Golovkin, 13 to 10 for Canelo Alvarez. Now scroll down a bit, you get your opportunity to place a wager on who you think is going to win in what round you think they're going to win. This is risky, but this makes it really, really entertaining. Maybe you think it's going to be Golovkin in five rounds. Payout would be 16 to 1. Or maybe you think it's going to be Alvarez in round 7. Payout there would be 50 to 1. Or you could just go for 12 rounds for Golovkin. Payout here would be 25 to 1. Of course, that's if he wins in that round. There are different selections for the fight outcome. You could even select draw or technical draw. The payout would be 18 to 1. But for this fight, I'm pretty sure nobody wants to see a draw. I think it's going to be very entertaining. It would be disappointing for these two boxers to finish this match in a draw. So if you feel like putting a wager on that, up to you. But I say go for one of these fighters to win in a certain round, do you think they're going to find a way to win in? Or just go for decision. Up to you. Now, do you think someone here is going to score a knockdown? Scroll all the way to the bottom. If you think Golovkin will score a knockdown, payout here shows 4-5. to five. But if you think Alvarez will score a knockdown, the payout here shows 7-2. to two. Like I said, you can have a lot of fun with this. Make sure you watch this fight. I am really, really excited to watch it. Can't wait. In fact, I'm going to be seeing it at a cinema. It's going to feel like you're actually at the ring. And before we continue, make sure you check out our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. On our website, you have easy access to the Bookmaker 101 Basics. That includes steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw. Our Bookmaker Guide is available to download. Read through it at least two or three times. Remember, I want you to become an expert on this whole entire online sports betting process. And remember, we have betting strategies, tips. Don't forget about our A to Z sports betting lingo. Remember, you may not sound like an expert just yet, but keep on listening to the Bookmaker Podcast. Check out our website, and you'll be good to go. All right, everybody, moving along now. I am at bovada.lv. That's www.bovada.lv. That's B-O-V-A-D-A dot L-V. And the L-V stands for Las Vegas. No surprise here that I'm checking out this coming Sunday's Week 2 National Football League games. Let's see what the spreads are. Let's check out the money lines as well. Now first, the Buffalo Bills will be on the road against the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers are 7-point favorites. Money line shows here, positive 265 for the Bills, negative 330 for the Panthers. Then you got the Tennessee Titans on the road against the Jaguars. I know last week I doubted the Jaguars, but who didn't? The Tennessee Titans entered this match as 3-point favorites. Money line shows here, negative 135 for the Titans. Positive 115 for the Jags. Then you got the New England Patriots on the road against the New Orleans Saints. The Patriots have to win this game. 
I say they will. I cannot see them falling to 0-2, but it will be a tough game. Entering that game, the Patriots are seven-point favorites on the road. Money line here shows negative 300 for the Patriots, positive 250 for the Saints. Over-under is set at 56. Next, you got the Minnesota Vikings at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers here are six-point favorites. Money line here shows positive 195 for the Vikings, negative 235 for the Steelers. 45 and a half is the over-under. I'd say choose the under there. It could be a little high scoring, but I think the Steelers will keep it at one of those tight defensive battles, especially at their home, Heinz Field. Next, the Philadelphia Eagles on the road against the Kansas City Chiefs. A lot of pressure on the Chiefs here. Can they keep it up? They beat the Patriots on the road. Now they come home to face the Eagles. That'll be entertaining. The Chiefs are six-point favorites. Money line here shows positive 210 for the Eagles, negative 250 for the Kansas City Chiefs. 47 and a half is the over-under. Then you got the Arizona Cardinals at the Indianapolis Colts. Cardinals are seven and a half point favorites on the road. Not sure yet about the status of Colts quarterback Andrew Luck. Money line here shows negative 330 for the Cardinals, positive 265 for the Colts, over-under set at 44. The Chicago Bears will be on the road against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's the Buccaneers that will be seven point favorites. Not really surprised about that. Money line here shows positive 260 for the Bears, negative 320 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Cleveland Browns will be on the road against the Ravens. Obviously, the Ravens are favored, nine point favorites, but I'll be quick to say that the Browns have a knack for giving trouble to their division rivals. Money line here shows positive 300 for the Browns, negative 400 for the Ravens. Over under set at 39, I say select the under. New York Jets at the Oakland Raiders. Like I said before, it's the Jets. And the Jets are 14-point underdogs playing in Oakland. Check out the money line here. Positive 650 for the Jets. Negative 1100 for the Raiders. No respect for the New York Jets. Not a surprise there, though. Then you got the Miami Dolphins at the Los Angeles Chargers. Home opener here for the Los Angeles Chargers. Their first time playing in Los Angeles in quite a while. They enter that game as four and a half point favorites. Moneyline here shows positive 175 for the Dolphins, negative 210 for the Chargers. Over under set at 45. Then you got the San Francisco 49ers at the Seattle Seahawks. The Seahawks are 14 point favorites. I'm not looking forward to this game. As for the money line, positive 600 for the 49ers, negative 1000 for the Seahawks. The Cowboys will be on the road against the Denver Broncos. And it's the Cowboys who are two-point favorites. Wow, so close. That's a tough one there. Money line here shows negative 135 for the Cowboys, positive 115 for the Broncos. The Washington Redskins will be on the road against the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are three-point favorites, but I think the Redskins should be able to pull off the upset. Money line here shows positive 125 for the Redskins, negative 145 for the Los Angeles Rams, over-under set at 46. But I don't envision that game being really, really high scoring. Now for the Sunday night game, the Green Bay Packers at the Atlanta Falcons. That'll be an entertaining one. The Falcons are three-point favorites. Money line here shows positive 125 for the Packers, negative 145 for the Atlanta Falcons. Over-under set at 54. I say select the over. I think it'll be a high-scoring game. And I see Aaron Rodgers leading the Green Bay Packers to victory against the Atlanta Falcons. Last but not least, the Monday night game. You have the Detroit Lions. On the road against the New York Giants, but right now I don't see the actual spread just yet. So get yourself to Bovada.lv to see that spread as soon as you can. All right, everybody, that's it for this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. Really glad you're able to join us. Remember, I want you to take your love of sports to the next level. Make sure you access our Bookmaker 101 Basics. I want you to know the steps on how to register, bet, and withdraw. Our Bookmaker Guide is available to download. I want you to read through it, not just once but at least two or three times so you can become an expert on this entire online betting process. Earlier I mentioned the A to Z sports betting lingo. Remember, learn it, live it, love it. I want the kitchen bed by nine. I want the dog fed, the yard watered, and the gate locked. And get a note to the milk. No more cheese. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.